What is up everyone, it's Loans, back with another Madden 18 franchise video, and in today's video we are going to see what would happen if every starting running back in the NFL was a free agent. Now before we get started with the video, I just want to thank everybody for being patient with me here. For those of you that don't know or don't follow me on Twitter, um, over this past week I was trapped down in Florida. I went there over um, Labor Day weekend and was scheduled to fly back on that following Saturday and my flight had actually gotten canceled. I got stuck in Hurricane Irma. Um, wasn't very fun, but the soonest I could get back was just Wednesday, a few days ago. Um, so I've been back trying to get everything put back together and get back into making videos. So thanks for being patient again. With that said, let's just get right into this. And as you can see, I'm using the Pittsburgh Steelers here and uh, these rosters might be a little bit out of date. If there's been any uh, transactions or anything like that since I went on vacation. They won't be on these rosters. I did these before I had left. Um, so as you can see, Le'Veon Bell is not on the team and neither are any of the other running backs in the league. We've got all the running backs as free agents here. They're all in there. So we'll go ahead and simulate through the preseason and see who ends up where. So here we are at the start of the preseason and the Steelers did not pick up a running back, which is kind of weird, but in my last video, which I'll have linked down in the description below, um, I did the same thing with quarterbacks, put all of those to free agents just to see what would happen there. Um, and there were actually teams that didn't pick up any quarterbacks too. We'll go ahead and check the rosters and see who went where. Like I said, the Steelers didn't pick anybody up. Uh, so James Conner, I guess those guys with rookies probably didn't pick anybody up. But James Conner will be their starter. Um, Alfred Blue is the starter for the Texans, so they didn't pick anybody up. Uh, the Titans stuck with Derrick Henry. Dalvin Cook is with the Vikings still. And there's our first one. Giovanni Bernard is now a Chicago Bear. Jeremy Hill is... Still on the Bengals. Uh, Jay Ajayi is on the Bills now. Uh, Jamal Charles is with the Broncos, so no change there. Brown stuck with Duke Johnson Jr. This is really weird. Uh, Charles Sims is um, on the Bucks. Is he on the Buccaneers normally? I don't really know. Not familiar with him. Uh, the Cardinals stuck with Chris Johnson. Brandon Oliver is the running back for the Chargers. Why is nobody getting picked up? Spencer Ware with the Chiefs. Okay, did nobody get picked up? Um... Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. Okay, there we go. We've got Ezekiel Elliott on the Jets. I guess they did pick people up. All those other teams just thought they didn't need a running back. Amir Adula is in the Lions. CJ Anderson went to the Packers. Uh, the Panthers stuck with Christian McCaffrey. Maybe I should have dropped all the rookies too. Uh, Le'Veon Bell is now on the Patriots. They are definitely winning a Super Bowl. The Raiders have Isaiah Crowell. The Rams have Lance Dunbar. I'm not really sure who he is. Uh, Devontae Freeman went to the Ravens. Redskins picked up David Johnson. The Saints stuck with Mark Ingram. The Seahawks stuck with Eddie Lacy. So who is still a free agent? There's got to be some good running backs that are free agents. Yeah, there's Melvin Gordon, Jordan Howard. It says Jordan Howard's a Patriot. Uh, Lamar Miller, Thomas Rawls, Todd Gurley, Latavius Murray, Murray. I'm not sure why none of these guys got picked up. I don't want to pick any of them up. I don't want to force anything, but I'm just really confused. Let's uh, simulate a week here and see if anybody else gets picked up. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check and see if they picked anybody else up. 
And okay, Melvin Gordon got picked up, so they're picking people up slowly. We'll go ahead and simulate to mid-season and see where we are at. And at the mid-season point, the Steelers still did not pick anybody up. But there is a lot of running backs that are no longer free agents, so we'll run through the rosters again really quick and check where everybody is at. So James Conner with the Steelers. The Texans have Todd Gurley. The Titans still have Derrick Henry. Dalvin Cook is still with the Vikings. Giovanni Bernard with the Bears. The Bengals still have Jeremy Hill. The Bills have Jay Ajayi. Broncos stuck with Jamal Charles. The Browns are sticking with Duke Johnson Jr. Charles Sims is still with the Bucks. The Lamar Miller went to the Cardinals. Thomas Rawls went to the Chargers. Uh, the Chiefs are sticking with Spencer Ware. Carlos Hyde went to the Colts. Uh, Deion Lewis is with the Cowboys. Dolphins picked up Melvin Gordon. Uh, the Eagles have Darren Sproles. Tevin Coleman is still with the Falcons. Uh, Tim Hightower is still with the 49ers. Latavius Murray on the Giants. Uh, the Jags picked up Jordan Howard. Jets with Zeke. Lions grabbed Theo Riddick. I think the isn't Theo Riddick on the Giant or Giants on the uh, Lions already. C.J. Anderson, Packers, Christian McCaffrey with the uh, with Carolina, Le'Veon Bell, and the Patriots. Isaiah Crowell went to the Raiders. The Rams picked up Ty Montgomery. Ravens with Devonta Freeman. Uh, the Redskins have David Johnson. Saints sticking with Mark Ingram. Seahawks have all their money in Eddie Lacy. And okay, so that is it. So that was really weird that they didn't pick all those guys up in the preseason. Uh, but we'll finish with the simulation and uh, see where we're at. I don't Oh, the Patriots. Yeah, they picked up Le'Veon Bell. I'm pretty sure they're going to win the Super Bowl. That's my prediction. Uh, let me know down in the comments who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. And here we are at the end of the season. The Steelers are still in the playoffs. Looks like they actually did pretty good. The uh, Steelers went 9-7. and seven. We'll go ahead and check the standings here really quick. Patriots went 14-2. and two. Uh, Falcons 13 and 3, Packers 12 and 3, Rams 12 and 4. Wow. Uh, the Seahawks are 11 and 5. The Steelers, Colts, Broncos, Redskins, Chiefs, and Chargers are all 9 and 7. We'll go ahead and see who the worst team was. And this is the Browns. No surprise there. Uh, the Panthers, second worst. Giants, Bills, Jets. And Raiders, uh, so Jets didn't do too bad. They went 6-10, and 10, so Zeke probably gave him a couple wins there. But let's go ahead and check the stats. This is what I really want to see. So for the Steelers, James Conner was not good. 858 yards. Uh, Todd Gurley with 1,022, 9 touchdowns. Derrick Henry with 1,231 and 11 touchdowns. Dalvin Cook. Could be Rookie of the Year with 1,242 yards, 11 touchdowns. Uh, McKinnon also had 11 touchdowns. Uh, Giovanni Bernard, 1,139 yards, 6 touchdowns. Uh, Jeremy Langford, I believe is his name, yeah, with 7 touchdowns. Jeremy Hill, 1,159 with 2. Wow, only 2 touchdowns. Jay Ajayi had 1,211 yards, 9 touchdowns. Jamal Charles had 11.36 with 7 touchdowns. Uh, Duke Johnson Jr. had 1,070 yards and 6 touchdowns. Charles Sims had 11.42 with 8. Uh, Lamar Miller had 978 yards with 8 touchdowns. Thomas Rawls had 789 yards, 11 touchdowns. Uh, fumbled 3 times and Brandon Oliver got Quite a few carries too, 521 yards with 8 touchdowns. Spencer Ware had 1146 with 14 touchdowns. I think that's the most we've seen so far. Uh, Carlos Hyde did not do very well. Uh, 957 yards, 4 touchdowns. Robert Turbin had 16 touchdowns. Uh, Deion Lewis had 914 with 8. 
Melvin Gordon, 1,258, six touchdowns. Uh, Darren Sproles had 1,286 yards, uh, 10 touchdowns. This guy here, Donnell, Donnell, Donnell Pumphrey Jr. Uh, with 13 touchdowns. Tevin Coleman had 1,315 yards. Tim Hightower had 1,004 yards and not very many touchdowns, only four. Latavius Murray had 860, 860 touchdowns, 860 yards with three touchdowns. Jordan Howard, 1174, 14 touchdowns. Zeke had 1,403 yards, only nine touchdowns though. Uh, Theo Riddick, 806 yards, seven touchdowns. Mir Abdullah had 12 touchdowns. CJ Anderson with 1,118 yards, 12 touchdowns. Leonard Fournette went to the Panthers somehow. I didn't see him on there. Uh, maybe I just missed him. 995 yards, nine touchdowns. Christian McCaffrey had 424 yards and eight touchdowns. That's weird, I didn't see Leonard Fournette on there at all. Um, Le'Veon Bell, 1,520 yards, 11 touchdowns. And James White had 511 yards with 17 touchdowns. So that is the best we've seen so far. Isaiah Crowell, 1,184 yards, 11 touchdowns. Ty Montgomery had 1,129 yards, 12 touchdowns. And Lance Dunbar, yeah, Lance Dunbar had 14 touchdowns. Uh, Devontae Freeman, 1,364 yards, 13 touchdowns. David Johnson with 1,354 yards and six touchdowns. Mark Ingram had 1,098 yards, 14 touchdowns. Eddie Lacy had 1,196 yards and 10 touchdowns. That was better than I thought he was gonna do. CJ Procise also had 11 touchdowns. So I'm sticking with my guns here. I think the Patriots are gonna win the Super Bowl. Uh, I don't really see anybody beating them. Tom Brady, Le'Veon Bell, it, they're gonna be unstoppable. We'll go ahead and send them to the Super Bowl and see who's in it. And here we are at the end of the season we will check and see who was in the Super Bowl. I have no idea who was in it, who won, who made it deep into the playoffs, anything like that. And it was a Packers-Patriots Super Bowl, just like I thought the Patriots won, 38-28. to We will see how Le'Veon Bell did. Tom Brady threw for 302 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Aaron Rodgers threw for 265, two touchdowns, and a pick. And C.J. Anderson did better than Le'Veon Bell. He had 120 yards, two touchdowns. Le'Veon Bell had 87 yards, one touchdown. And James White had 36 yards for two touchdowns. So I was going to wrap this video up. And we kind of saw the same results in this as we did in my quarterbacks video. I don't want to give too many spoilers away here. But if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out. I'll have it linked in the description. But we saw Tom Brady, Le'Veon Bell win the Super Bowl. Uh, no teams really got too much worse. No teams really got too much better either. Uh, the Patriots probably would have won the Super Bowl even without Le'Veon Bell. So if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for some regular Madden 18 content. Thanks for watching.